I have a very unusual flashlight on the table. This is the Sofern IF23. So this has some features that I think so many more flashlights need to have. And it also has some things that make, make it one of the better emergency or home flashlights that you might get access to. Let's go ahead and talk about it. This is definitely a different kind of flashlight. First of all, we have two different sets of emitters. We have the ones that are in this side panel and one out of the front. So we have a maximum output of 4,000 lumens and as low as one lumen from this. And we have from one to 500 from the side. That's pretty awesome. Now, in addition to that, we have a magnetic tail that is actually pretty darn strong, I have to say. So nicely done on that front. It's definitely going to hold itself, and this isn't even a lot of metal, so the fact that it can hold itself up with that is actually pretty good. It also comes with a pocket clip, although I don't see why anyone would be using it with one. This has a Type-C charging port, which is covered by a silicon cover. That works pretty good, and it is an IPX rating of 7. So that's also great that it is fully waterproof. Now... It's hard to evaluate these types of flashlights without first explaining what you would use it for. So the way I see it is this, 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 this actually has features that I think make it good for either house use, meaning that it's something you leave in a drawer for emergencies, or it's really good for a vehicle because it has a combination of useful features, whether you're working under the hood of a car or trying to get someone else's attention or finding someone. So I think it kind of runs a nice swath of, of uses and could be a very good complement to other flashlights that you might carry truly as an EDC. It's not an EDC flashlight by any stretch of the imagination. It also has a feature in it that I love so much and I think every flashlight with a 21700 battery should also include and that is reverse charging. This is basically a waterproof power bank that basically can transfer, I would say, 80% of whatever the rated battery it has. So if this is 5,000, which I believe it is, 5,000 milliamp hours, then I would say that this will fill up, say, a cell phone, 4,000 milliamp hours, assuming kind of some losses and some um, fibbing on the actual, uh, you know, quantity of energy in that battery. That's a very useful thing because in many cases we don't necessarily need a flashlight, but we might need more juice. And so having that stored in your flashlight makes a lot of sense. And, it, and for this type of battery, the 21700, that is the right combination. So I really do like that. So that's kind of like who it's for and the features that are just really awesome on this. Let's get into the user interface. And I think this is where things are gonna get a little bit complicated. Now, on the hardware side, I think they've done a very good job making it fit. And I think when you think about what it's capable of doing, they've done about as good a job with the user interface as possible. But it's not a kind of flashlight that I would hand off to someone who doesn't yet understand it. And I think that even just explaining this user interface would get very complicated. That is the only drawback that I have seen immediately with this flashlight, is that it, it does take some time to get used to. And actually, I'm still figuring out all the little ins and outs of the light. So we'll start with the main front emitter. If I click once, I get my front LED. And I can then cycle through the low, medium, and high. One, two, and three. And it goes back to low. Now, to turbo, I double press. And that gives me 4,000 lumens of output. And that is no joke. Now. Strobe, uh, strobe warning here. We're gonna add, we're gonna show those as well, and this is almost the exact same thing with the side lights. Once you turn that on, uh, so from here, and I would go to turbo. If I double click again, I go to tack strobe. A double a next double press goes to SOS, and then one more double press goes to beacon. So we're gonna go through all three. So if you are sensitive to this, please be made aware. Now, double press goes to turbo, double press goes to tack strobe, double press again, SOS, double press again for beacon. 
And actually, Beacon is one of my favorites. I'm glad they included that because this actually makes a lot of sense to have Beacon mode, which is sort of like letting people know there's potential distress and also can be used uh, for a much longer duration than the other emergency modes. So if I double press again, it'll go back to tax strobe and we're gonna turn it off. Okay, so I'm not gonna show that again on the side switch, but you need to know that that's also going to be true once we're in the side switch uh, mode set. The way we turn on the side is by a double press from off, okay? So now we have access to whatever is memorized on our side switch, or sorry, on our side light. Now, once again, cycling through, we hold press one, two, and three, okay? Double press again for, for maximum output, and this is 500 lumens, and I gotta say, look at how nice this is. You know, if I didn't already have a lighting setup, this is not bad at all because of that um, that frosted lens. It's actually distributing the light very well. Like, that's actually pretty good, right? You could definitely... Let me turn off my other light so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so my other light is off. I could absolutely use this for making videos. I think that's pretty damn cool. Let me, let me turn it down a little bit. So let me... So there's low... Hold on, hold on a second. So hold press. So that's the that's the medium, and I think medium's enough actually. High, nice. And then turbo. Yeah, awesome. That's awesome. Okay. So there's there's your side switch. Now here's the cool part. If I turn it off, and I want the lowest output from the side switch. I mean, it runs a really long time. So at one lumen, it'll run for twenty. Uh, let's see. 27 days, it says. No, wait. 230 hours for the floodlight. 27 days for the spotlight. Okay. So, from here, I hold press for one second, and I will get the lowest output setting for the side switch. And the reason it, it's coming in on that, and this is what I had to figure out, because it doesn't explain it in there very well. It will turn on the moonlight mode. Let me turn my light back on here. It'll turn on the moonlight mode of whatever you had on last. So if you had the front light on and you turned it off, it'll then bring it on moonlight on the front. And if you want it on the side, you have to first activate it and turn it on. I don't, I can't fault them for that. That's actually a pretty clever way to do it and allows you to have a moonlight in both without having to have like more than like six different presses. I've had other flashlights with side, switch, side lights like this one that honestly had a less intuitive interface. So this is actually really well done. Really, really well done. I just found a new feature that I probably should have read through the manual a little bit more carefully, but holy crap, check this out. A quick triple press gives you side lights of completely different colors. So check this out. I'm gonna put, it, I'm gonna put this white thing so you can actually see the color. So if I hold press, it will cycle through all the different colors. That is so freaking cool. Okay, I'm not sure what the application of this is. I'll be honest. I don't know why I would do that. But that is really cool. And uh, that's the interesting thing is, and you can't really see it because it kind of blots out in the camera. These are a separate set of emitters in the very center. So there's actually three lines of emitters here. There's two sets that are white, and then the middle ones are like those multicolored emitters. Wow, that's amazing. Seriously. Okay, back to the review. And then my favorite feature, of course, the fact that this is a power bank. I mean, you can't go wrong. Does it have a pocket? Does it have a, a, a pocket clip? Yes, it does. Does it need a reversible pocket clip? Absolutely not. Why would anyone put something this heavy on their head? That doesn't make much sense. It also comes with a type C charging cable, but you're gonna need a type C to type C cable in order to do reverse charging, something to keep in mind. Comes with a lanyard, comes with spare O-rings. Overall, this is a fantastic light. I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, this is really, really, really good. And it would be very much a good option for a bag flashlight or an emergency flashlight. 
couple other things that we should talk about while we're here, and I'm trying to just quickly go over and make sure we have everything, including the lockout, which I'm assuming that there is. Hold on a second. Let me go for a lockout. There's got to be a lockout. Yep. Okay, that's what I thought. It's very similar to many other flashlights. Lockout is sim a simple four press. One, two, three, four. And it'll blink, and now you're in locked out mode. And that's, there you go. And what's cool about it is, like so many other lights, and I love this feature, in lockout, you can still use the light in momentary. So when you let go, it stops working, and then you turn it on by just holding it. So they really did everything correct. I, honestly, I cannot fault them for anything they did in the user interface. The only question is, whoever is using this, do they understand how to use it? As long as they do, I think this would be a fantastic home light, emergency light. You can set it up in a bunch of different places. You can play cards with the side light because it's such a nice distribution of light. Yeah, what's more to say? This is a home run slam dunk. I'm not actually 100% sure of the price, but I mean, this is made by Sofiren. And if I know anything about this brand, they have really, really, really good pricing. I will put a link to Amazon's listing, but I will also put a linking to their website because sometimes they have special sales that drop the prices substantially and they do have a US distribution center. So you can actually get them a little bit easier. That's pretty much it for today. Uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for your time. And we'll talk to you again soon.